Hello friends and enemies, welcome to or back to Happy For Now, it's me Isabel here with your new vlog for the race. This is going to run through face off weekend so this will also all probably be wrong, long, wrong, long. This is probably going to be a long one too because I will be reading a lot. I have a bit of a goal by the end of next week before face off starts so we'll see if I manage it but I'm not going to tell you that goal here. You're going to, you're going to find out if I do it or not. Um, but I'm here and I'm excited because we have a new prompt. Pa we are on our way to Paris, the land of cheese and patisseries and baguettes and the place that I terrorize my bestie about. Uh, the one that you don't see in videos <laughs> because she is a French major. <laughs> so I always love to give her crap, but the prompt for this one is a book that's won an award and I I had a book picked out realized it's not actually a winner it was a finalist so that sucks I'm pivoting and trying to find something else we'll see what I managed to find I'm really not sure right now um I kind of have as a potential on deck three volumes of which hat atelier um, I have volumes five through seven here because I'm going to use volume four for one of the sightseeing prompts so I would end up reading four volumes of this just to do this prompt, which I might, I might, we'll see. I don't know that I have another volume four monk. I have to look around, but this is on my list of potentials. Otherwise, I'm just gonna kind of dig around a little bit and see what I can find. I need to go look at like some Rip Bodice Awards and other things, but there's a lot of resources and I know a lot of us are panicking a little because this is one of those prompts that's definitely harder than not. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. We got our first new prompt and uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I can read for it in the next like 20 minutes so I'll be back to talk to you about that I gotta film another video as well so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back through to tell you what I picked stretchies so what was supposed to be a very very chill Monday has turned into chaos so I am about to go mail this giant box. That's part of why I saw boxes over here. Anyways, I'm about to go mail, mail this box to Shay. I've got to run by Walmart and get tape though because I ran out of tape somehow. But I also have to go get my car's oil changed because we're taking my car for Grumps' work trip this week that takes us back to Kentucky. <laughs> go figure. Um, and then I am going to get my oil changed, drop this package. At two o'clock, I have the dentist. Uh, I had it scheduled on Wednesday, but I was going to be out of town. So I was like, can we move it? And they're like, can you come at two today? And I was like, yeah, I'll come at two today. Let's, I'm just being the adultiest adult ever right now. And that's fine. But on that note, while I get all this stuff done, I got a video edited this morning. It is, what is it? It's 1048. I have posted a video early access for my members. It's a Romance Landia one. So all my Romance Landia and Hire supporters got that. I've scheduled bonus content from the vlog for my members for tomorrow. We're doing this thing. It is happening. I feel very like on it today in a weird way, even though it's almost 11. So I'm gonna get in the car, stop at the Walmart, get some tape, leave the Walmart, and then uh, go up to the oil change place, get my oil changed. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And then hopefully drop this package, come home for a bit, eat some lunch, brush my teeth, dentist, and then home for the rest of the day. But on that note, I am currently 37% into the Lesbianas Guide to Catholic school and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I think this is a really great YA about figuring out yourself and who you can share this information with at that age and all that good stuff. So having a blast with it, to be honest with you. And I really love our main character. I really, it's very angsty, but not like too angsty. So I'm gonna keep getting through this. I've got like maybe two hours left, give or take. So I should be able to get done pretty quickly. I don't think it's gonna take me too long to be finished. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. I am gonna go to the Walmart to the tire place, to the oil change place. Um, I go to the tire place because I am terrified of driving onto the oil change ramps. They scare me. I don't like them. I don't like it. I'm not doing it. Unless the Valvoline is like literally dead and then I might do it, but yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then come home and read some more, hopefully be done. Maybe I'll have an update for you by then, but let's go guys. Freaking go and be adults. Hello friends, uh, <laughs> I'm back who did a really bad job who read a bunch yesterday and did not update you this girl this girl right here um hi hello how are y'all i i'm here i'm back in may's house <laughs> and i finished two things yesterday so i did finish the lesbiana's guide to catholic school this was fantastic five-star read 
Ashley over at Bookish Realm raved about it last year, which put it on my radar. And I just hadn't gotten to it yet. And I'm so glad I finally did. It was so worth my time. Oh my goodness, it was so good. So this follows a girl who leaves her public school for a Catholic school. She kind of got outed by her best friend and shunned, unfortunately. And because of that, they, she goes to the Catholic school her brother's going to and is trying to help him like do well slash blend, I guess. Well, I don't know what to call it. But she's also just trying to pretend she isn't gay here because she doesn't want to be outed. But she befriends a girl and she has a crush on this girl and she's pretty sure this girl's gay and it's their whole like journey together and also a journey of her, bro her brother for her brother and just for like being out and family accepting you. It was beautiful. I loved it. It was so good. I had so much fun reading it truly an absolute blast so five stars highly recommend if you want a romantic ya coming of age coming out story it was so good then and then i read the imperial dragon the dragon king's imperial wrath falling in love with the rat clan princess this one i'm not great at this title okay it's a lot of words so i read this um non-human main character I think was the prompt I used it for, if I recall correctly. And I really, really enjoyed this. I personally, at least, found this really enjoyable as a read. I really liked where it went and how it went and the story. So like all the, the clans, there's, it's like, it's very Fruits Basket-y, but not. So they're like furry-esque, I guess we'll call it. The, the princesses, all the clans send a princess to the Dragon King's realm castle thing. <laughs> And um, he runs into the rat clan princess in the library and is like, you're my mate. You are my mate. So he acts on that, of course. And they end up sending home a bunch of the princesses. She's one of the four that stay. And he's just like, you're my mate. Will you live with me? And she's like, I need to get to know you first, which is very funny and very like a fun juxtaposition to the dragons, very much like need of things. So he very much is like, come on, let's do this. You're my mate. And she's like, please wait, sir. I am not ready for that one. I need to know you first. So I thought that was really cute and fun. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm at Maze. I'm about to run to Kroger for us real quick. And then I will be back here. I think we're going to go to Joe Bath tonight. So Joseph Bath, the bookstore here in Lexington. And then we are going to get dinner there at the cafe and then come home and watch Hitman. So it'll be a fun night. You'll get some May banter here. And yeah, it's just going to be a good time. So I'm going to go do that errand real quick because May's going to be off work soon. And I'll be back to talk to y'all in just a little bit. Hello friends, we got a new prompt today. May's watching me film again. This is her favorite hobby, I feel like. It's just like standing behind they the camera. They can't see me making faces while I brush my hair. No. That's the face she made. <laughs> Don't tell them my secrets. What the hell is real? <laughs> that wrong. And the way in which you said it was so. What the hell is a So country. I don't know. Today somebody orcs said that they sounded country as cornbread, and I was like, honey, listen, stand right there, talk to me long enough, and you'll hear country come out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah, they will. Sorry. Keep filming your vlog. Clip. You're fine. Uh, I have no idea where we're at in this vlog, but I'm at Maze. This is my last night here. We're going to Brownie Sundays tonight and watch anyone but you because the hitman was so bad. I know some people liked it, but I think as romance readers, it just was disappointing. It needed more rom-com. She drove me crazy. It wasn't I even did. just her though. It was the plotting. It was everything. It was just bad. But she was very obviously 
being manipulative. Yes. And she wasn't hiding it. I agree with you. And he was just like eating it up. And I was mm -hmm. like, you're a fucking psychology professor. Yeah, you should know better. You know better. Mm -hmm. uh, this is true. Gary Johnson, that was his name. Mm -hmm. So we um, got a new prompt today. I've branched out my sightseeing into its own vlog because this is going to have face off on it, which is going to include a lot of book updates. And it's just going to be too much. So sightseeing will be its own little mini vlog at the end of this. Mini. Mini. Um, I don't know how many of that mini vlog, vlog will be, but it's fine. <laughs> I also wanted to say that one of the romance team chats was like, somebody needs to do confessionals. Like we're on a reality TV show and I think I might do it for the last vlog. But yeah, I might. You. Okay. You'll you'll set yourself up and do like confessional readathon yeah, videos? Exactly. Yeah, I'll edit it. That's fine. Okay. Well, like, we'll do it. Like, but I'll somebody was like, your... yeah, somebody was like, do, uh, somebody used to do that. And I was like, I could feel like I could do it for the last one because then I could share spoilers. I bet most of our group chat would do it. I'm going to do it for a collab video, like where everyone's in my video. Okay. So yeah, we got a new prompt today, this afternoon. Literally was on Sprints with Shay. Did not realize it dropped because I didn't bring my Apple Watch charger, which is the only way I know anyone has texted or called me. This is true. She has been missing a lot of my text messages. I'm telling you, I have no idea what's going on because I don't have my watch on. That's the only reason I have an Apple Watch. So one, I can find my phone when I lose it. And two, so I see when people text or call me. Because no, like I don't like having my phone on sound is the thing. Like, that's a nightmare. No, thank you. Um, so, we got a new prompt, and it is Nature on the Cover, and I am reading The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. This is supposed to be a cozy, romantic -y fantasy situation, so it counts for the um, group prompt, so that's great. The group prompt, the genre for team romance. So far, I'm like 10-ish percent in, and it's cute. Like, it's cute. I, I don't know if I'm going to love it, but I think it's cute. And I think I'll have a fun time with it at the very least. And that's really all we can ask for. And I have an arc of it. So I was like, well, I should use this because I have an arc and I need to read my arcs. This is coming out from Bramble in July. So I will report back as I continue to work through it. But right now our heroine is a librarian that has fled the town she was in because the library got burned down basically and went back to her hometown that she's not been to in a long 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 time and there are flying cats there and the town is struggling so i think she's going to be part of like revitalizing it maybe she's also like heavily introverted to the point at which she was like oh no there are people here i should leave uh which was very funny to me and she has a talking plant so We'll see how this goes. I assume the man, the male main character we just met is going to be the love interest. But again, who knows? But yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to have brownie Sundays, rewatch anyone but you, and uh, just have a very chill last night because I leave in the morning, unfortunately. But it's fine. This is a very, very quick trip up. Um, Grumps had a thing to do up here for work, and then we're leaving. So I'll take it it's a win my split custody is ending tomorrow morning grumps will come pick me up so there's that <laughs> if i think of anything else i will come back and update you but i really do want to wash my face so i'm gonna go do that here in a minute because i feel like the longer i see the makeup on my face the more i'm like i need to take this off which is a weird feeling but it's it's accurate all right i'll be back in the morning or back at my house tomorrow at some point and i'll talk to you then. this is a very very sleepy vlog update i finished the spell shop I submitted it. I will talk about it in the morning with you. And then I finished. I submitted the other sightseeing I did. And then I started this. Um, which it feels weird. I have my romance like, bookmark in here. But um, I read a little bit of it. And I'll finish it tomorrow. But I'm going to go pass out. So I'll be back to talk to you all soon. Tomorrow. Literally. I will look less this. And be ready to go. Eight minutes. We have eight minutes until face off kicks off here. So hello, I'm here, I'm back, I'm alive, I've showered, I've washed my hair. I wasn't gonna wash it to sit in the car for half a day on uh, Thursday, but I'm here, hair washed. Feeling pretty good, I feel pretty ready. So quick update, I wanted to tell you, oh my God, as I drop things everywhere. Anyways, I wanted to tell you about the Spell Shop. This was such a great read, I had so much fun with it. It is very much a cozy fantasy romance situation. Very low stakes. The cover sells the book very well, in my opinion. This is about a librarian who's like part animal situation, um, who escapes the library as the government is like basically being overthrown. And in doing so, 
she takes a bunch of spell books with her and runs back to her home island that she's not been to in ages. People remember her when she shows up. They're also hesitant of her. And she goes back to her parents' cottage that they have there and decides to open a jam shop slash spell shop. She has a talking plant named Kaz who is spectacular. We meet her childhood friend that she doesn't really remember also like that was great she's very introverted which relatable like at some point she was just like this has been too much peopling I need a break and I definitely relate to that feeling anyways I really related to that I think overall this was just a really really fun low angst read I gave it like I feel like a four and a half for me maybe a five I don't know I gotta see how it sits with me but it delivered exactly what I wanted out of a cozy romantic fantasy situation it is out July 9th if you're curious about it so I did read an early copy the arc was provided by the publisher, of course. I actually got an audio arc of it, and I really enjoyed the audiobook. Great narration, great um, payoff for the story. I think it added a lot to the story listening to it. But yeah, I, I just had a fun time. This is not like, there's no sex on page. This is kisses only type romance, which is absolutely fine. So fully closed door, very low steam. But I don't necessarily want every cozy romance fantasy whatever cozy fantasy romance to be like high steam because I don't think that always fits the genre in and of itself you know I think there's there's balancing act here right so yeah this was great I think if you have enjoyed other cozy fantasies you could pick this up and if, especially again if you like that romance undertone but yeah it was really really cute and I just I had so much fun with it but we have five minutes till face off I have a tote I'm going to show you in a minute which is my books I have a little bit of a sightseeing book left that I started last night but was too tired to finish and um I'll probably finish this and then dive right in but I might dive in I might just dive in honestly I think I'm just going to dive into my uh, face off books and then I'll finish that up later today but yeah I'm going to be on breeze sprints for a little bit and then I will circle back around um I'll be off sprints for a bit and then I'll go from there so yeah all right um I will talk to y'all in a bit okay hello so face off has started officially it is one hour and eight minutes in i have read two things um one of them doesn't count for face off because i used it for something else but either way i did just read dinosaurs before dark which is book one in the magic tree house series i don't remember reading these as a kid and they're kind of one of the short audio slash ebook options i have while i do some tasks around the house um because they all are over 50 pages so i did read that while i walked around and like refilled my water for sprints and stuff but um i really enjoyed it it was cute very very cute very fun i don't really have a rating for it because it's a kid's book um and i don't i'm not gonna rate like a kid's chapter book necessarily but i did read that so that's good and i'm diving hold on there we go i'm diving into prince freya volume two now so hopefully i can knock that out in the next 20 minutes sprints the first round end in like 14 so we'll see what i manage i'll be back to talk to y'all in a bit uh it is 3 p.m we are officially four hours into face off i have read six things six things for face off i've read a couple other things for other things because i'm again i'm jumping back and forth so what have i updated you on have i updated you on anything i don't know i need to that's gonna be a new checkbox hold on I was gonna take you through everything I read so far because I don't think I've updated you really. So first things first, I did pick up the Magic Treehouse series. I got books one through eight on audio and ebook. So I'm kind of just bopping back and forth between ebook and audio on those as I do tasks, different tasks and stuff. So I have read the first three of those, which means I read Dinosaurs Before Dark, um, Night at Dawn, and Mummies in the Morning. All of them very cute, very fun. Really enjoyed these. Um, they're delightful, like, chapter books for kids. And I think, I don't remember ever reading them as a kid. I probably did. I read a lot as a child. But I'm enjoying them. I'm having a fun time. They're kind of low-key, low angst when I'm feeling a little like, I don't know what I want to do. So I'm picking those up. They're all solid books. I'm not reading them, though, because kids' books. Then I read Prince Freya volumes 2 and 3 and immediately had to see if I could get them from my library, which I can. So I will probably continue that series over this weekend. This has been a fantastic... Uh, a girl has to assume the identity of the prince and is trying to save the kingdom from these people who want to make a mess of it literally so in doing so she's having to like figure out a lot of things about herself and has lost a lot of people already three volumes and very violent 
violent story so far, but also, like, has a little romancy line happening here, I feel like, and I'm very curious where that is headed <laughs> as your romance girly. Um, and then I picked up one of my favorite digital only series that I'm dying for physicals of, which is Abe Coon's Got Me Now. I read volume 12, which is the last volume I had to read of this series, and now I'm caught up. But my library had it and I was like, we're gonna read this now. We're gonna read this now. So I read that and I loved this. This is another five star read for me. I just love this series. They're so cute. They're like such a little married couple. Similar, if you've liked Emakoi, I feel like you would probably also enjoy Abe Coon, but it's a lot longer. So it's a little bit harder to wreck in some ways because of that. But either way, I've had so much fun reading this book. But yeah, I loved volume 12. <laughs> And they took like a little break in this volume because she felt like she wasn't worthy of him. And it was really cute because he's like, absolutely not. You better not make plans without me in the future. And all this stuff that was just preciousness. Like, I loved it. But now I'm going to migrate downstairs because I have my tote bag full of stuff. Millie's out the door. So we're going to go downstairs. I've got a notebook to track things. I've also got my spreadsheet ready. And I'm submitting as I read. So I'll be back to talk to y'all soon. Okay, it is 11.09 Central time. I have read 20 things for face off now and I need to update you because it's been a minute literally I haven't updated you since book six so I'm going to group these <laughs> first up we're going to talk about Magic Tree House I have read from um Pirates Past Noon Noon on the Amazon Sunset on the Sabretooth Midnight on the Moon Daybreak with Dolphins Ghost Town at Sundown and hold on oh Night with the Ninjas also and let's see, uh, Lions at Lunchtime, Polar Bears Past Bedtime, and A Vacation Under the Volcano is what I'm on right now. So I'm working on my 21st and 22nd book. I'm kind of alternating formats and things. So like depending on what I'm doing, I'm bopping around a little here and there. But the 21st book is a, or 22nd will be a volcano under, or a vacation under the volcano. But here's my thoughts on Magic Tree House so far. I don't remember reading this. I'm sure I did. Like, they're of the age I would have, like, they came out when I would have been reading them in the 90s. They're so fun. These are such a fun little series. They're so quick. They're delightful. And I think we don't give enough attention to children's literature, generally speaking, which, like, is something Ashley wrote Book Control, one of my friends, talks about quite a bit. And I just loved this. And my friend Steph, who's also, like, talks about it. But yeah, I love this. It's so fun. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. Although right now I am deeply questioning why. Why did we send the children to Pompeii the day the volcano erupted? With no warning. But like this like oracle they ran into who's like, it's gonna end today. <laughs> what? That lady, this librarian lady was like, I have no care in the world. No Fs to give. Send the children to Pompeii. Let them die. Who cares? We'll see what happens. Obviously, it's for the intrigue. It's for the excitement and the thrill of it. But I'm just like, what on earth? What on earth? Otherwise, manga-wise, let's talk about it real quick, I guess, too. So I did read Boss Wife Volumes 2 and 3, which I really enjoyed. I think that this has been a fun series. I did see that my li one of my libraries has a lot of them digitally. Now I owned the first four digitally, but I'm definitely willing to continue the series now that I can read them digitally, like through a library versus buying them for $10.99 each. This isn't a series I like love, love, but I do enjoy it. It has been fun. I'm glad I reread the beginning of it before I continued on. I do think there was some benefit there for sure. It is about childhood friends to lovers and she basically enters into an arrangement with her childhood friend to help her get out of the debt that she's just like taken on from her father and it's been an interesting setup he needs to be married to take over the yakuza family so we'll see how that plays out for him volume four i will talk about in my sightseeing vlog then i read before you just is that right yeah before you discard me i shall have my way with you this is probably even harder of a read than outbride will be for a lot of people this definitely features a lot of degradation, degradation. I can talk. It's fine. It's again, it's late, whatever. Um, and a lot of back and forth between our two characters here and them. Mm, mm, it's weird. It ended in a weird way. I feel like I need to read volume two because of how it ended, but I don't know if I'll keep it. This might be one I get on sale or secondhand. Um, yeah, it was not terrible, but it was not fantastic. Like, it is a three. 
it is definitely the one I feel like of the steamship so far is the most like it's even more I think isolating of a read than Outbride could be for a lot of people so proceed with caution but it's interesting she kind of takes advantage of him and then he traps her and it's 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 just weird it's real weird and then I finished a series I finished Ladies on Top I read volume six and um I like this series it's like a three and a half four star series for me I think it could have been better I don't, I wish the mangaka was, could have gone further with what the themes were in this, if that makes sense. I still enjoyed it. I still had a fun time. I think I will still keep it on my shelves for now, but it is one I could see myself potentially not keeping forever. It's definitely not like a Wotokoi uh, sweat and soap favorite for me. It's like pretty low down on that favorites list of my explicit mangas, but this was pretty cute overall still. We still had some fun and then it just kind of really quickly wrapped up. I don't hate it. Like I said, it just wasn't exactly what I expected. And then I read volume two of The Dragon King's Imperial, Imperial Wrath, Falling in Love with the Bookish Princess of the Rat Clan. Oh my god, it's a mouthful. Anyways, I only submitted it as that first half because I was like, I'm not, I'm not typing all that in the box. This was cute. I really like this series so far, but it is only three volumes. And have, knowing that and wrapping up volume two, I was like, mm, only three? only three? How are we wrapping this up in three? So I don't know how I feel about that, but I will finish it. I did really, I really enjoyed this so far. They are faded mates and he is like determined to make her fall in love with him. And it's really cute and sweet. And she's very bookish and like hesitant, which valid. Um, the other thing is I'm reading QQ, QQ Sweeper volume two on my phone on the Viz Media app while I lay in bed tonight. So I'm going to get that done and I'm loving it still. I don't foresee that changing and nor do I see foresee myself updating you on it in the morning because we're going to start fresh because if we get to 22 volumes before midnight tonight, 22 things read, I'm pretty happy. And then tomorrow I'm hoping to knock out 30 to 40 things. Fingers crossed. I'm going to be a husk of a human on Sunday. In this, but I also have read more than 22 things. I did some sightseeing too, but like I said, separate vlog. So there's that. All right. This is a very long update. I'm going to get ready and get comfy in bed. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. I'm here with a quick update because I've read we're at seven things read in um on saturday it's 1 14 eastern or eastern um central time I'm trying to open mangas so i can read them but let's talk about what i've read so far so i did finish like the last few pages of qq sweeper 2 this morning and i really really liked it i think it was really really fun um and then i also read volume three this morning and loved it i'm really excited to read queen's quality at some point possibly during the readathon maybe not i'm not really sure yet when i'll pick that up but it's definitely on my short list of things to read sooner than later especially since it's in the viz media app it's also eating candy um but so i read that and then i did read bad boys happy home volume two really enjoyed this big content note here for sex work and attempted rape it has some heavy topics in volume two but i still really enjoyed it they're really precious together then I read a few more Magic Tree Houses this morning while I made my coffee and stuff. So I read Day with the Dragon King, Viking Ships at Sunrise, and The Last Hour at the Olympics. Did I miss that one on here? Yeah, it's missing. Okay, hold on. I need to add that. All of these were really fun and cute. This was, this took me through book 15 or 16 of Magic Tree House. So I'm just slotting those in as I have time. But yeah, I'm really enjoying them. I think they're really fun and definitely something worth picking up if you're looking for some sightseeing prompts that are short because they're all over the page limit and they're very quick, fun reads. So you can definitely like give yourself a boost on some sightseeing. It could count for quite a few of them. And then I just listened to Squeak by Vera Valentine and uh, it was a time. I didn't hate Squeak by any means. It just was so weird. And I'm going to talk about it on sprints here when we get off in like three minutes. But basically this girl is going to an art school and she sketches these guys that work at the zoo who have run away from the circus and are in like clown outfits. But they are balloon animal shifters. It's Fear of Valentine, so it's bonkers. Um, they're balloon animal shifters and they trying to find out how to do something to handle an issue they have with someone. It was just so bonkers banana pants that I truly can't recommend it enough. It was so fun. It was so, so fun. I am gonna give it like a four star. 
just for the fact that I was left stunned by the end of it. At one point he says that she's staring at him like a corn dog and it's a MMF. So she's staring at him like a corn dog and um, they taste like powdered sugar and funnel cakes. They also bone in the light so that the balloons can reflect color, uh, which was fast, fascinating choices are being made here again all around. And then the sequel is called The Squeakquel. So I don't know. I don't think there's an audio for that yet. I'm not sure. I am thinking to read Unhinged during this also. So if I do, I feel like it'd be funny to just knock out two Vera Valentines. I do adore Vera. This is, there's nothing but love here for bonkers and weird romances. If you're new to my channel, it's something I really love reading and I love investigating the trends of them and why sometimes because they're just, they're always fun, no matter how good or bad they are. They're always fun. And I will say this, I feel like Vera actually writes pretty good ones. So there's a lot to be said there. Anyways, face-off sprints are almost over. I have a minute left, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back real quick because I forgot two of the things I read to talk about. I did read the improbable meet cutes. I read Christina Lawrence, which is the exception to the rule. This was really cute. I really enjoyed this one. Definitely recommend. I only am really interested in a handful of these, which is why I also haven't read them all yet. Really liked this one. I thought this was cute. They were email pen pals basically for years, like 10 plus years. And then they finally have an accidental meeting because of course they've ended up at like the same college. He's like her TA. And that was really, really cute. And she emails him about what happened and he's like, oh my God, that was her. So they've been trying to meet for years and just never worked out. It was really precious. And then I listened to the worst wing man, which was really funny because he puts the wrong, the note on the wrong car for his brother with like a sex thing on it. And this was precious. I really loved this one. I think it was just so much fun to read and experience. I think this one for me, like just, it nailed all of Abby Jimenez's writings and things I love about her writing in 61 pages. And yeah, it was really, really fun. I enjoyed it. Next up though, we're, we're on an hour and 15 sprint. I gotta, I gotta go pee. This is the only thing I didn't have time to do in the last sprint, but I have five volumes of Yakuza Lover. And I'm gonna try and tear through this. So I will be back hopefully at the end of the sprint having read at least four, if not all five. And I'm hoping when Brie wakes up, we get another item. So we'll see if I can manage enough. And the battery's dying, so I'll be back. It is 10.54, we just wrapped my sprints up. I am so tired. I'm so tired. Um, okay, so since I last updated you, I've read seven things. So I read Yakuza Lover volume eight and nine. Please hold, they're right here. I read these. Uh, my camera battery's dying. Hold, please. Again. Okay, so I read volumes eight and nine of Yakuza Lover. Since we last spoke, really, really enjoyed it. Um, these are really solid continuations. I will be done with this series before the end of the readathon, so you will get a vlog where I finish it sooner than later. And I'll talk about that when we get there. But yeah, for now, I'm pretty happy. Uh, and then I read a handful more of Imakoi because I've read it before. So it's a reread for me, of course, but I'm loving it. I've not made it quite all the way through. I think I have three volumes left now to hit all of them um, during face off, which I'll probably do because I just really want to make up some of that GRC from flying. So, and I'm just expecting to like lose face off, which probably sounds ridiculous, but I just feel like, I don't know, that'll happen. <laughs> Who knows? By the time I update and close this vlog out, maybe we, we did okay. So I was just like, well, if I make up all this GRC, I can just probably fly the rest of the uh, rounds. Two, I really did want to read Imakoi after I finished it. Like I wanted to reread it. So this is kind of the perfect opportunity for me to. So yeah, I've made it through volume six of Imakoi. Absolutely loving it. And then I think I read my last Magic Tree House for the readathon, which was Tonight on the Titanic. That was really fun and cute. I've really enjoyed my little Magic Tree House read through for this. It was so much fun and such a fun way to uh, experience those books because I didn't really read them as a kid so yeah um that's where we're at though I'm tired I'm gonna go wash my face and get on my pajamas and go to bed hopefully wake up in the morning with enough time to read a couple more volumes and call it a day for this whole thing so uh for face off and then I'll wrap the vlog up in the afternoon you'll get it on Tuesday 
it's a whole thing so yeah by then we'll be starting our next leg i'm sure so i will have a vlog for that but yeah that's where i'm at all right i'll be back to talk to y'all soon to close this out um i already gave you my graphic with everything else i read i just finished e mccoy on sunday morning and i'm here as losing team's co-host um it sucks i'm not gonna pretend it doesn't suck to lose and to read 40 plus books because i did actually read more than 40 i just applied some to sightseeing and maybe i shouldn't have maybe that was a mistake i don't know but it sucks to lose it never feels good to lose if you won if you got better than last I'm so happy for you but I definitely feel like I could have just done my other challenge for myself this month and not participated in face off which is not something I was going to do I'm a, co I'm a host for the romance team like that's not happening but I'm just saying it doesn't feel great and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that like it does or that I'm happy about it because I'm not you know um yeah it sucks I'm here it sucks like I got nothing else for you but it sucks and I'm not going to pretend it doesn't because again that wouldn't be who I am on this channel in any capacity and I think there is a lot to be said for losing sometimes right like you're gonna lose in things don't get me wrong obviously we don't really win anything in the readathon so I know like it's not the end of the world but it still doesn't feel good to read as much as I did and go as hard as I did all weekend for that <laughs> to be the outcome but either way if you're watching this and you're on my team and you're on team romance you did great I'm so proud of everybody and I'm so proud of how everyone handled the loss in our group chat. I'll leave it at that. I'm very proud of y'all. And, you know, we we had some other good things come of it. We'll leave it at that. We had some other good things come of it, so I'm okay with this. At the end of the day, I think it's just one of those things that, like, a lot of us read more than we've ever read in 48 hours. So there's also that element to this all as well. So, yeah, I don't feel great about Face Off. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we use the wrong strategy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Otherwise, I wanted to, before we moved on to the outro of this, I wanted to just give like a little bit of advice here because I know a lot of us are going to be feeling burnt out right now. I know in particular, I feel burnt out. I read a lot and now <laughs> I, I could have just not. I could have just not basically is how I feel, right? So I am trying to pick up the motivation for this new leg that we got yesterday and to get that book done because, you know, I would like to keep on pace with the readathon, which is my goal um, always is to be in the current city pretty quickly. Just as a host, I think it helps me to like have time to help in the discord. My advice for those of us feeling a little burnt out and slumpy or just very like blah now because face off is a lot it mushes your brain up it's it's just a lot there it's it's an overwhelming event I've done it twice now it is an overwhelming event I will tell you that much as a mod it was different as a host it's even more overwhelming and I um yeah I just figure some people might want some advice here because like I said I know a lot of us are like oh got a book um, and some of y'all already made it to the new city, I'm sure. And I'm so proud of you for that. And uh, as a note, if you didn't get to participate in Face Off, there is no, there's no ill will towards anyone who did or didn't participate in Face Off. I think for some of us, it just was like, we went so hard and then felt, you know, nothing. <laughs> out tips. Let's talk about it. Uh, one thing I want to recommend is that for this next leg, because you're burnt out from face off, either A, pick up a book that's going to take you two to three days to read because not something you can read in an hour or two. Try a different format. If you have never read manga, this is a great opportunity to pick up a manga or a graphic novel and just get to the new city so you can stay caught up on the current leg if you already are. This mostly applies to those of us who are like are caught up. But yeah, go sh so like either pivot completely away from short reads or pivot to like something you know you can do read in an evening when you sit down for the night or whatever whenever whenever your reading time is so you know you can finish it right finish that book go sightsee a little do something else you know so like that's what I'm doing today I will pick up my couple things I'm reading for this prompt and then I will go and um sightsee maybe or not at all this like who knows I'm gonna I'm gonna go with how my mood feels 
So we'll see. But yeah, uh, that's my biggest advice with the burnout situation here as we enter the last half of the readathon. This is more books than some people read in a year. Um, 10 books is a lot. Even for me as somebody who reads a lot, I can tell you 10 books can be a lot. Some months I'm only getting 15 books. Some months I'm, you know, we have the readathon and I'm, I put on my reading goggles and we go and we go hard. So there's that. But yeah, if you're feeling burnt out, feel, feel okay to take a break. When I post this vlog tomorrow, like as of filming this vlog on Monday afternoon, I've not read for the new prompt. So take that for what you will if you are also feeling burnt out watching this on Tuesday. If we get a new prompt before you finish, it's okay. Read it when you get the chance. But yeah, that's everything for this vlog. I'll be back next week with our week three vlog. Um, if you hung out this long, let me know your favorite read of Face Off. If you participated, if you didn't, just again, your favorite read so far for the readathon. And if you don't do any of that, you can leave me, um, I was gonna do heart emojis, but I just did heart emojis. You can leave me eyeball emojis of your choice. There we go. We'll do that. Eyeball emojis. Why not? Uh, down in the comments, I will have links to every book I read for you. Links to my friend anywhere on the internet. And I will see y'all in just a few days. Bye. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away.